Hey guys, it's Joe, and welcome to Alone in the Dark. So I've been so excited about this game. Um, if you don't know what Alone in the Dark is, it is a long-standing survival horror franchise, most notably known as probably the first survival horror game back in 1992, the original Alone in the Dark. Uh, which, to be honest, I'm not that familiar with the original Alone in the Dark. I've never played it. Uh, I've only seen it brought up here and there. I've never actually gotten through it, so I don't really know that much about it. Uh, I'm a little more familiar with the 2008 game uh, from videos I watched about that, the reboot that came out uh, on Xbox 360 that's not so good. I'm the light bringer. I'm the f***ing universe. But yeah, this is the brand new Alone in the Dark game in 2024. I think it's supposed to be a reboot, like it's a sequel, but it has the same name kind of thing. Uh, we're going back to the mansion from the first game, um, Deserto Manor. So I I'm really excited about this game. It's got David Harbour and it. it's got a great cast overall. Uh, and I I'm just really excited about doing it. Uh, I'm also going to try to do these videos a little more uncut, hopefully as minimal editing as possible, um, just so I can get them out a little sooner and get them out a little more often. Um, because I have a lot of stuff I want to edit, I want to work on, which I'll probably talk about when we start getting in. But either way, whatever, let's jump into Alone in the Dark. So, your uncle, what's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis. Figuring you might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What? exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. All right, so we get to choose our character here. So uh, I think David Harbour's character is Edward Carnby, who is the original character, uh, the original protagonist from the first Alone in the Dark, actually. So I think this is a reboot, not a sequel. Um, 
I'll put up a picture of what Carnby looked like in the original game. He was like a ginger man with a mustache. Um, I, and you played as him in the original game, I think. And I believe that she's Emily Hartwood. Um, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the actress's name right now. I'll put it on screen as well. Um, but I think she's also in the original game. So this is like a different take, I think, on the first game. I could be wrong. Not really sure. I'd like to catch up on the Alone in the Dark series, but I've been really excited about this one, so we're going to check it out. But I really do want to play as... Edward Carnby, David Harbour. Oh, it tells you the act the actor actually, so I don't need to put it on screen. Emily Hartwood, Jody Comer. Um so that's cool. So kind of like an A and a B path, like Resident Evil in a way. So I'm I'm kind of interested about that. I don't know if, if it is a different path or whatnot, and maybe we'll play both, maybe we'll play one. But for now, I think I want to play as David Car David Harbour. He's great as Hopper in Stranger Things, and it looks like he's back to doing more detective work. <laughs> This game looks really good, though. So I'm excited. If I look at all my monitors, a little weird, because I'm doing a different way of recording this compared to um, Hello? other Hello? times. Looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Chapter one. All right. So we're in the garage, it looks like, of the household. All right. Um, and I'll put a time code jump ahead to the actual gameplay uh, on the screen. Uh, but let me just explain it real quick. So I hope the, uh, the game play looks all right. I'm having to record this a little bit differently. Normally, I just run the Elgato through OBS. It picks up the HDMI audio. That's fine. Uh, and... Instead of running the HDMI to my TV, which is next to my desk, so I'm not looking like this the entire time, I have it hooked up to one of my monitors, so I'm a little more closer to the camera. Problem is, my speaker doesn't have audio coming through it, so I wanted to use the Elgato link cable to use earbuds, but on the HD60X, I can't seem to get the analog audio working through OBS. Uh, at least I don't really know how to. So I'm just having the HDMI audio run through the Elgato programming, play the audio to my desktop, and then screen capture the Elgato software. So, hopefully it looks all right. I'll analyze and see how it looks depending. Um, but anyway, let's get back into the gameplay. So it looks like we're in the garage of the house. Um, look for a way inside the house. Okay. And yeah, here we are is Edward Carnby. Game looks really good. Carnby over the shoulder. Uh... You know, like most third-person games. I mean, I feel like it's funny because Alone in the Dark was like the the original survival horror game. Um, and now, because Resident Evil set such a precedent, a precedent, I feel like with the Resident Evil remakes especially, other games you know, are following them. We got a flashlight, it looks like. Nice. Flashlight clue. Kitchen garden key. Oh, we have key key items. All right, cool. Press the right stick to turn on the flashlight. Nice. But yeah, cause I'm saying like I mean like not that Resident Evil invented over the shoulder survival horror or anything, but I'm saying like Resident Evil two, three, and four remake all kind of look like this. I feel like other games are following suit, and that's not a bad thing because those games are all great. And uh, from what I've been hearing, this game is pretty good so i'm really excited to check it out Ooh, door rattling it's spooky kitchen garden key let's unlock that baby and get inside uh what we got in here oh ammo that's always encouraging <laughs> well we have more ammunition i don't know how much combat's in this game what is that what is that little rat man waiting in there come out come out hey yo where did the rat go <laughs> All right. Wow, this looks really, really good. Um, nah, I'm not getting in there. All right, so we're going to need something, maybe a bolt cutter, maybe a key. Um, but yeah, just because I'm noticing the software having some stutters, so it's probably translating to OBS. I'll see if I can get anything fixed, because obviously that's not happening normally. And I feel like it doesn't happen either when I just run the game, th or the OBS mm -hmm. through, or Elgato through OBS. Some sort of, it looks like a 
tile or something down there. Also, I've been slowly playing my way through Alan Wake 1. Maybe I'll play Alan Wake 2 on the channel when I finish 1 and have the money to buy 2. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of series I want to do. Uh, I mean, I still have a lot to edit. Um, I still have Ruin. I have to edit the entirety of. I have like a three and a half hour VOD where I play through the entirety of Security Breach Ruin. Um, I have an entire Elden Ring series on Twitch I'd like to edit down and put on YouTube, especially with the DLC coming out soon. Nice, we got a key. The housekeeper's key. Big tree to fit inside a conservatory. Whoa. Oh yeah, it does. I didn't even notice that. Um, yeah, Elden Ring is a series I'd like to do. Ruin I still have to edit. Um, Amnesia the Bunker, my first couple parts, uh, aren't great. I'd like to restart the game completely and then eventually make it a video. Um, I don't know if it'd be a one-sitting type thing. Um, but those are some of the things I want to no, do and just... I'm not getting in there. Haven't had time to work on, unfortunately. So, we'll get there eventually. Elden Ring is the one I really would like to do. The Dead by Daylight ones are just fun ones I can do when I stream some Dead by Daylight, get some good games and can upload easily. But I'd like to get back to more of the series because those are more fun for me. But Security Breach, you know, that one took a long time to finally, like, finish and complete. And I kind of hate doing that. That's why I'd like to have less editing in this series so I can pump out videos more often. Um, so it doesn't have to be a series that's dead for, or, you know, around for, like, three years. I've always had a problem with that. It's like, I do series and then they go on for fucking ever when no one could possibly follow it over that much time. It's just too much. Oh, welcome to Deserto. Look for a way inside the house. We'll find the front door and let Emily Hartwood inside. We really just broke into this house. Don't mind if I do. A drink? Do we heal with alcohol in this game? Because if so, that's actually awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh... You know what this also reminded me of a little bit? Just because it's like 1920s aesthetic, too. Uh, Sinking City, which... Every always... day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you would tell me if I'm going down a path that you found. Oh, I can make her stop. I mean... Every day you're silent. Oh, it restarts. Um, well, I'll just read it now. I won't do that anymore. I just... I, I was like, because I could read it faster. Um... I started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Baptiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I've long been skeptical if that Caribbean cult, if uh, of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in, in my book. I'll say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French Quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the Creator of all things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. The he this, there, uh, that the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. So grateful for the words you gave, Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be truth, a mother of earth, wood, and dirt, a mother of a thousand young. And then a receipt. Sacred sand, a dollar. Black cat oil, a dollar fifty. Devil shoestrings, twenty-five cents. Two seventy-five. A goat without horns is written on that. And it says Johnny the Conqueror? Or jo jo Johanny the Conqueror? Uh, something like that, yeah. Okay. Maybe this Johnny. Uh, I can't tell. But So that was scribbled in the back of this family Bible. So somebody in the family was getting into voodoo. Um, but I, before that, I was saying about The Sinking City, which is a cool game, kind of... I'd say somewhat niche, um, but I played part of it on PS4 uh, and never finished it, but I got the PS5 version a long time ago and haven't started it, so maybe I'll stream it one day, because I really did like that game. It's just, I think it's a long game, and there's a lot to do. It's kind of semi-open world. Someone, who opened a door? Or was that the door that just closed, like, was that just the door closing behind me? Why are there bullets in the freezer? Bro, close the freezer. <laughs> Dude, 
dude is just rummaging through this house that's not his. So I guess we'll find out why we're here if Emily... I guess Emily, like, hired us just for protection. Rat poison. Lagniape. Oh. Oh, a Great Depression. Forbidden knowledge sets complete 0 of 15. Ooh, there's, like, little mementos and stuff and a whole lot of them. Oh, I see a Blair Witch-ass fucking stick statue. Um, This one, a Great Depression. So there's also a needle... And what looks like maybe like a rag or like a hot water bottle. What was that? Lagniapes are non-essential items you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Don't expect a 100% run of this game. I want to be honest. They carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both of them. Okay. So that's interesting. So that actually just answered my question. Uh, or didn't answer a question, but kind of just confirmed. Hey, you won't get all of this in one run. Good luck. More bullets. The oven was left open. I can close that, but I can't close the free. I can't close the freezer, buddy. I don't know how I feel about that, man. <laughs> What's in here? More ammo? Yes, sir. Got to load up. You know, you never know when you're gonna find a family member to shoot. That's a joke. What's in here? Huh. It's like a basement. Oh, it's a boiler room. Huh. There's a puzzle. Oh, I'm excited. This is going to be so fun. Sabotage clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. The decorative plate implying it's not necessary to run the boiler broken valve can i walk through this or do i get hurt you get hurt i should have known <laughs> this is a video game after all um i was gonna say, i feel like this game is just gonna make me want a resident evil 1 re engine remake again like i've been wanting for a long time I mean, when you really think about the first Resident Evil game, it, it does kind of follow the Alone in the Dark formula. You go into a manor and you solve puzzles and run from threats. It's pretty much the same concept, just different characters, a somewhat different storyline. Man, I'm, I'm just so excited about this. This looks like the front door. I need the key. Oh no, it's the library. Silly me to think the front door would be at the bottom of these stairs. Oh, we got a map. Deser uh, Dersetto floor plans. I've been saying the name wrong this entire time. Ooh, it kind of looks like the uh, Amnesia the Bunker map, the way it's like hand-drawn. Uh, so we're in the orderly. Servant stairs, conservatory stairwell, grand parlor, stair hall. So is the front door in the piazza hall and then the stair hall and that's the front door because i don't see another oh no uh it, it looks like it's at the end of the grand parlor perhaps um maybe oh yeah okay no it's through the piazza yeah it the locked medicine box is not going to take the piazza key <laughs> Just keep stealing stuff. Sunday, June twenty second. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one later. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Huh. 
Yeah, so there's some shit going on. I mean, that's typical. Uh, hold to open the map. The map is updated with information about the world. Oh, and they show puzzles that are solvable if they're green, unlockable if they're green. That's so cool. I'm betting if you play... Because right before I actually um, started the game, they asked me if... Not, not only what difficulty I wanted to play, but they asked me if I wanted modern or old school guidance. And modern being things are highlighted and it kind of gives you hints. Where old school, I'm guessing, probably doesn't tell you any of this. It doesn't probably tell you where puzzles are. It probably doesn't tell you what you've... It might it probably tells you what you've explored uh, and completed, because that was in Resident Evil and, like, you know, other games of the sort. Um, but I bet you it doesn't tell you, like, what's unlockable and what's solvable. I bet you they, they don't give you any of that guidance. This is the bathroom. I don't know if we'll find anything in here. I'm sorry, on the map it was water closet. <laughs> The bathtub looks like it could use a little bit of a descaling, but otherwise, uh, I would love to take a nice cozy bath in that tub. Oh, this is the door that's blocked. I'm going to the wrong door. This way. Open up. Piazza key. Open. Let me in. Ooh. Oh, it's got a drop down. Oh, that leads back to... Is that blood? <laughs> Yeah, that don't look good. Or is that just dirt? I can't tell. Uh, but that leads back down to where we came in. I wonder if I'll be chased and I'll have to drop down at some point. Oh. Okay, here's like the stair hall. Excuse me. Look at this dude. Look at this bear. Oh. They forced me to the door. Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood groom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you, get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. <laughs> in the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. <laughs> I love David Harper so much. Man, this is cool. All right, here we are. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. All right, search Jeremy's room for clues. I'm I'm going to have to figure out the best place to put my camera in this game because I don't see a great one. The objectives are up above me now and the books were over there. So, and the pictures are here. So, I don't really know the best place to put myself for this game. Um honestly, it might genuinely be down here. Uh we'll figure it out as time goes on. But let's continue. 
Um, another puzzle box. I wonder if the tile that I saw in that bucket might go here. Not totally sure. Um, we need something to reach into that bucket. We need a key for outside. Oh, I can talk to her. Anything important I should look out for? Did he keep a diary? Not that I know of, but it wouldn't surprise me. I wonder if it's the giant book sitting on the table over here. Nope, just the commonplace book. Every night book. the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi? Back from the beyond. Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher, where you may rest, and I shall weep. I'm Googling sepulcher, sepulcher, real quick, because I've never heard that word before. Um, a small room or monument cut in rock or built to the stone in which a dead person is laid or buried. Got it. Um, <laughs> so, bro was definitely haunted. We got a tile for, I think, the lockbox, actually. Emoji suggests being part of a larger picture. So, yeah, bro's gone missing in his possessed stupor. He's wondering if Emily sees the same shit he's seeing. He's making some creepy-ass haunted art. I don't know if it's of the Veiled Man or whatever um, that he's talking about. But yeah, bro is clearly um, struggling out here. Oh, okay, so we can put that in. Not a slide puzzle. <laughs> it doesn't seem so. I think I can just rearrange it. Oh yeah, Nancy Drew got nothing on me, bro. <laughs> we got... Oh, it's the hey, disc. You know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? Picture frame? I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Is this like Smile Dog? <laughs> oh, wow. That's striking. I want to save this one. POV, Taco Bell has run out of Mountain Dew. Specifically the Bob. <laughs> Alright, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Bro literally did get flashbanged by the picture like it was smiled. <laughs> Bro, it's got, it's got on, two days go. to live. He's haunted yeah, forever. I'm coming. Miss Hartwood. Why did she run off? Wait, is it nighttime Emily? now? Oh, he definitely like stayed there all night, didn't he? What the hell is going on? Where am I? 
never mind. Where the fuck is he? Investigate the corner store. Looks like we're in like New Orleans now, like we're in the middle of the city. Watch steamer trunk, still don't have anything for that. What's over here? Ammo. All right, so I just stay strapped. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we just got sucked into like some sort of trance. It's funny, I mentioned Nancy Drew. This game is kind of reminding me stylistically of the Nancy Drew game that took place in New Orleans that I actually have one VOD of on this channel from ages and ages ago. Never beat that game, it was too hard for me. <laughs> I should not have played on like senior detective when I've never had played. Oh, oh shit, wait, there's an enemy. I remember these guys from Resident Evil 2 in the laboratory. <laughs> Now you're on the trolley. Kill a monster with a ranged weapon. I got startled. I didn't know he was right there. Oh, man. I don't know if the game has been too loud either. I hope not. I'm going to lower it just a little bit. Just touch. Just a touch. Yeah, that, that actually kind of startled me. What do we got here? More ammo. Is that a trash? Can't go that way. It's a trash can, and the fog is blocking me. What the hell is going on? Yeah, I'm just as confused as you, man. At least the lights are on down here. Oh, this is just. Uh... Yep, Johnny the Conqueror. Like I said, uh, this is that store. I didn't know it. I like that I can search the trash cans. I'll have a I'll have a swig. <laughs> I don't know if I auto healed. I am playing on normal. Where's where's the concierge? Roots and medicine. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Sure. I'm sure that's all you're selling here. Are you... Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this? How? A pact with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth tonight. You would think your man can't bear. No, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace he guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the mama Loa. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Hmm. Sorry, I know I'm also not being consistent with Baptiste's keys. Oh, she was men he was mentioned in the book. Three keys on the chain, one that opens up to Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. There are two belonging to Dersetto. One for the clerk's office, and one for the library, which was in Deserto. Unless it's a different library out here. So, a lot of keys we just got. But I was going to say, um... Cool. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not so consistent about getting rid of my webcam for all the cutscenes. Um, this is just me trying to figure out how I'm going to format the series the best I can. There's going to be some hiccups here and there. But, ultimate goal is just so we can experience the game together. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. I like you, Baptiste. You're cool. Thank you for the free keys. And you didn't try to hit me with a giant hammer. 
Oh, yeah, I can just close that. No, that's what that... I forgot what it was. I was looking at it like, huh? Right, I think there's nothing else we can get here. I think we, we just have to go. So, he said he locked the gate down the street. What the hell is that thing? I also didn't play the prologue demo. Um, which I think had to do with the little girl that we saw earlier in the mansion. We got a pipe. Okay. Whoa! Ow. Oh, I can dodge. Come at me. Trophy earned. Kill a monster with a melee weapon. So yeah, if I double tap circle, like Resident Evil 3, I actually do have a dodge. I like it. That's that's really fun. Items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. Tap R2 quickly to quickly throw the item. Hold R2 to aim. Hey, bro. Hit him! What are you? Oh, God. You're like two skeletons fused together. You know, that very much reminds me of, um... Very much reminds me of something in, uh... Sinking City. Jesus. My brain never fails to let me down when I'm trying to commentate. I think we are in New Orleans, because isn't this what the sign street signs look like? Don't they still look like that? I feel like they looked like that even in the recreation that was in um, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Which, really fucking fun game. Like that game a lot. Uh, I doubt I have a map for this area. Yeah, your map is of no use here. Not surprised. Notice on the door, can't read. Actually, I don't even think that's a notice. I think it's just like a... A, a call tab thing, like, when people are like, ah, free guitar lessons, call my number. Ooh, a hatchet. <laughs> Level up. Ding. I think this is the gate we have to head towards. Yes! There's gonna be one of these monsters right around the corner, I'm calling it. Nope. We're okay. More bullets. Mmm, free soup. I can stand on the soup. Entrail soup. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I'm a master. Combat master right here. That don't, that don't sound very good. Hey, oh my god. Oh, it broke there. There. Oh no, I didn't know that. Oh, he's not reloaded. Oh no. Run, David. Oh, this is tough. Please go. I'm gonna have to ask you to ma screw off. Screw off. Oh, I need those. Oh, bonfire night trophy earned. I did not expect that to. Did I throw a candle at him? I thought I threw alcohol. <laughs> I need to get through there. <laughs> Excuse me, fire. Wow. Didn't expect that. I'm going to take this ammo. Uh, I have no ammo, actually, now. Which I should know by now. Survival horror games, you don't want to waste your ammo. However, did I just lose my pipe? I think I did. Or I, mean, I guess it got replaced when I picked up the hatchet. I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. Well, there's a there's a talisman right there. 
Um, I just wanted to look around first before I go there. It's not actually letting me put the key in there. Okay. Yeah, we'll just get the talisman. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Tal in between there are doors. Talisman clue. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers look to be less than 100 years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Edo burrito. Use the talisman to get back to Deserto. Derseto. So these cannot be opened. I guess I might have to come back here later. I think it's meant for the talisman. So I have to match the numbers, I'm guessing. So like four. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Oh, so I can rotate different disks. So we have eight, seven, two, four, six. Huh. He said maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Jeremy's notes. The commonplace book. Um. I don't see anything. Oh, there's p multiple pages. How'd you first come to understand this thing, Senora? How'd you know that batter boiler of the basement would lead me to the cemetery? How the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance of ever so small for me to see Tar Tararoella? I want that more than anything. Please let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his body tree. Uh, despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priest, has revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonkra. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. The people of Dursetto are becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are Ta uh, what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up with entreating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waits. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard? Dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered a dark pack. Everyone is safe, except for me. And then we have a book. There are always three numbers. Talisman, plates, and sockets. So, 358, I guess, is what he wants me to do. 3 so... 3... Um, uh huh. Oh, okay. So it actually shows you what number you're tilting towards. So I think actually, my bad. I think this one should be eight. And then this should be three. No. Hmm. The numbers needed to span a bridge between the scapes of dreams and memory, according to Stern. Not where I want to be, but it's a start three five eight. Yeah. So the outer one is three, and the inner one's two, and then the inner one's one. But three five eight is the numbers. So it's saying the outer one should be three, the inner, the second one should be five, and the bottom one should be eight. So is the part I did wrong? Is that this should be three? Actually, 
and the other one should be eight. I think I just did that backwards. There we go. I just did it backwards. Okay. It's showing something. A place? Where is that? Huh. And it opens the door. Okay. Let's go. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Hmm. Huh. Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, it's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Ooh, it's good. Got a bite. Hmm. It's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay. What can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order, and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go. But I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Detective Carney, how did you... where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal even. Detective? I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. Forget it. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something. With his talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy to the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? Tarawea. 
Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective, are you gonna be all right? Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray, we'll rendezvous later. Wow, finally an astronomical. brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Tarawea. If he can do it, so can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Okay, and then... Obsolete items have been archived. Okay. While Detective Combi was grateful... Okay, stop that right now. Uh, find Jeremy, find the astronomical clock mentioned in the commonplace book. Find Dracetto's boiler mentioned in the commonplace book. We'd been there before. Investigate what Perosi knows. While Detective Carmby was grateful to be back at the Cerato, he was eager to test his hypothesis after having suffered through that sinister world dressed as the French Quarter. Jeremy's writings could be read much more literally. What if Jeremy used his talisman to actually visit those places he mentioned in the book? Carnby felt certain that this was the answer. He wouldn't find Jeremy hiding in Dorsetto. He would be in one of those other worlds, and to follow in his steps, Carnby would have to investigate the old clock in the boiler, find out what part they played. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for part one of Alone in the Dark. What a great start to this game. We actually got through chapter one, introduced to Dorsetto Manor, Edward Carnby, uh, and Emily Hartwood, and we're looking for her uncle Jeremy, who's kind of lost somewhere in some demon world it seems like I could get some amnesia rebirth vibes and uh no one's really being straight with us or telling us what's going on but i'm really excited about the series i'm really enjoying the game so far and i'm so excited to see more of it so i hope you guys enjoyed part one of alone in the dark like comment love to your feedback follow me on twitter you can subscribe join the channel today tell your friends we're so close to 200 subs and it'd be awesome if we were able to hit it this year um, but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one joe signing out bye everyone